So basically, I'm in the process of building an algorithm, which is a set of computational inputs. Right? The concept of the theory is called linguistic organic search engine theory. Right? L O S E hyphen T. Right? Which is the acronym lose hyphen T. I put the, the hyphen in there just to give the acronym a sort of peculiarity. So basically, it's a taxonomic approach to disambiguate and ambiguity. One of the prevalent problem they have will one of primarily in computational linguistics or natural language processing is which is machines inability to decipher ambiguity. The term is called word sense disambiguation which is a problem that proceeds back even before the 50s. Now I approach, uh, I came up with this idea of linguistic organic search engine theory by creating a, a taxonomy of all the variances of ambiguity in language. Now, Linguistics, primarily, this is centered around linguistics because computational linguistics is centered around machines' ability to communicate language just as effectively as human or on the same level. One of the big problems with that is, is literary devices. Machines obviously do stuff like irony, sarcasm, condescension, and all these sort of devices that meaning is sort of predicated on not the literal statement itself, but the contrasted interpretation derived from tone. So what I did was study uh, a number of uh, algorithms, primarily Google, Apple, Microsoft, AOL, and what's the last one? Um, Yahoo. And I studied all their flaws. So I, fo I found a couple hundred flaws in these algorithms. So I started writing a number of different academic papers from a linguistic perspective. Now what I did was, since I kind of have a rudimentary understanding of linguistics in terms of the subsets, phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics, sociolinguistics and psycholinguistics. I explore each subset within the context of the flaws I see in the algorithm, and I publish a number of different papers. So, so far, 27 chapters published on the subjects. And what this does is it doesn't really solve all the problems with the, the algorithms. What it does is actually, it sort of augments, modifies, and alters algorithm to be more effective more effective in the search query. Now, one of the big problems with algorithms is, with primarily is that words is, is predicated on a high level of ambiguity. And what the algorithm does is sort of unequivocal. It unequivocates meaning instead of augmenting meaning. So a word that may have triple or four meaning, the algorithm itself is not impartial in what it's search query, right? So like the word bark, which refers to, is a noun as the tree bark, and as the dog, which is the, uh, the, the dog barking, you might do a search, but you might find the noun might be treated as the primary meaning, and the bark as the verb or the, the verb might be treated as the secondary meaning. So you have the, the dominant and the subordinate me meaning. The algorithm kind of unequivocates that, doesn't augment the meaning, and it doesn't treat the semantics of words with any sort of impartial settings. No, we have a big elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that meaning and definition is sort of predicated by big advertisers. Because big advertisers, what language, linguistics primarily was considered a form of human communication. What Google has done, and a lot of big corporations does, has augmented linguistics into a commodity. So it's value now. So you'll have big corporations or brands will pay thousands and thousands of dollars for the value of keywords. So how the search query um, how the algorithm differentiates meaning is primarily predicated on brands. So we deal with a sort of trichotomy. We deal with language, we deal with computational linguistics, and then we deal with big cooperations and in, um, the investments in keywords. So it's a big, big, big subject. So this is kind of the rough uh, draft of what I'm doing on, on this project.